Linear programming. Maximize z equals x plus 3y subject to x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0, x plus y greater than or equal to 3 x less than or equal to 5, and y less than or equal to 5. So what I'm going to do first is graph the boundaries for these uh, inequalities. So I'm going to look at the first equation as x equals 0, and that's going to be the y-axis. And then I'm going to graph y equals 0, and I'm just going in order here, and that's going to be the x-axis. And then the x plus 3 is going to be the point 0, 3, and the point... 3, 0, which is going to go right through those points. And then the last, the, uh, well, the one before the last, x equals 5, that's going to be a vertical line at x equals 5. And then y equals 7 is going to be a horizontal line at the y equals 7. So there's the last line, y equals 7. So I will label these um, actually just by color. So for the first one, so this one here was my blue line. The red one was my second line. And now again, I'm not doing the inequalities here. These are just the boundaries, the y equals 0, x equals 0. And then the green one was my x plus y equals 3. And then the purple one was my x equals 5. And then the orange one was my y equals 7. So there's my lines there. Now what I need to do is I need to shade the region that satisfies all of those inequalities. So that region is called the feasible region. So now what we're going to do is label all of the points here. And what points I mean are the corner points. So there... There's a corner point. And the corner points of what we call the feasible region. And it looks like we have five corners here. So now let's see what those points are. So this is going to be 3, 0. The next one is 5, 0. The next one is 5, 7. The next one is 0, 7. And the last one is 0, 3. So once we have everything listed, we have the feasible region. And we need the feasible region because we have to find all of the corners here. And once we find those corners, to find a maximum or even an optimal point would be by plugging in all the corners. Because that's going to happen at the corners. So that's a neat thing about these maximization or minimization problems. So we're going to have to... Plug those in. And essentially all we do here is we just plug each point, corner point, in the function. So this is going to be, I'm just going to start with uh, 0, 7. So my x is 0, so 0 plus 3 times 7, that's going to equal 21. And then I'm just going to plug in now z, uh, I'm plugging the point 0, 3, so that's going to be 0. And then plus 3 times 3, so that's 9. And then the third one is going to be 3, 0. So that's going to be 3 plus 3 times 0. And that's going to be 3. And then z equals 5 plus 3 times 0. And that's going to equal 5. And then z equals 5 plus 3 times 7, so that's 21, 26. And the point that's going to give the maximum value for z here would be where I ended up with 26. But that point would be 5, 7. So the maximum occurs at the point 5, 7. And again, any optimal point is going to be at a corner of our feasible region. So this is the answer to that question.